That's right, Cheryl. It has been a very busy night, not just for emergency responders, but also for those ComEd crews. In fact, you've just been talking about the number of people who are without power in the entire area. Well, just right here in Crystal Lake, according to the latest map, there are about 3,500 customers without power. And in fact, the building where we're standing right now, which is right in front of the fire department, it, along with the city hall complex, are the only ones providing any light right now to this area. Getting around Crystal Lake, indeed around much of McHenry County tonight, is a treacherous affair. The power is out for thousands, and there are downed power lines and trees blocking many a darkened street, brought down by the weight of the ice that continuously fell here for hours on end. I saw some trees come down, a couple branches today. ComEd crews have been busy working to restore power since even before the sun went down without power. Many here are also without heat and unable to remain at home. I got pizza in the car and we're going to discuss where we're going next. On the roads, crews have been hard at work all day, continually spreading salt, trying to stay ahead of what could easily turn into an ice rink should the temperatures drop by just a couple of degrees more. On the tollway, the icing operations are expected to continue throughout the night. We're overseeing the snow and ice operation. Um, so I've got the ability to look through with the traffic operations staff, uh, thousands of cameras, um, so we can check things in real time. And the McHenry County Sheriff's Office issuing a call to folks to stay off the roads entirely unless absolutely necessary tonight, saying that they are responding to so many calls of down power lines and trees blocking the road that they simply will not have enough people to respond to those lower priority emergency calls. So if you can, stay off the roads tonight. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.